I'm in Lightroom CC, which is the cloud centric app of the Lightroom family. Now I'm going to search for an image. So the first thing I'm going to do in the my photos, I'm going to select all photos and then I'll put in a word for Lightroom to search. Uh, I'm looking for a picture of a frog and um, I've got three in my catalogue. Um, obviously this is some fish that look a little bit like frogs but it's um, giving me the one that I want and so I'll just uh, tap the letter E for edit. Uh, the icon is over here. Now this has already been edited so I'm just going to click on these three little dots and choose revert to original. I'll edit this from scratch. So the first thing that I would probably do with an image like this is just come into crop and I'm going to choose a, a 16 9 aspect ratio and then just make a slightly tighter crop of this frog here and just reposition that and then we'll go back to the edit fields here. Now the first thing I'm going to probably want to do with this um, is uh, I'm going to darken the edges. It's a non-linear edit so it doesn't really matter where I start. So we'll start with this um, radial gradient I think. Just right click inside of these panels to reset all sliders because um, obviously they're sticky settings so you might have multiple sliders already adjusted when you come in here. I'm just going to lower the exposure by a stop or so and then click and drag to create that radial gradient and then just click and drag the pin into position. Now it's affecting the outer uh, edge of that ellipse. If you wanted to be working on the inside you just click on the invert option there. So I'm happy with that um, and now we'll come over to the edit panel. I'm going to um, start with the uh, light panel here. This uh, edits the tonality and I'm going to add uh, maybe um, half a stop there. We're just starting to overcook there so I'm wondering whether we're going to be clipping. So I'll just hold, hold down the option um, key or the alt key on a PC and then see whether that is clipping. And it's not clipping. I just probably want a little bit more detail into those highlight areas. So I'll drag that highlight slider down. OK, we could also do the same thing with the blacks. Hold down the Alt Option key and find the optimum black point for this image. I'm going to allow the eye of this frog to actually clip just for a little bit more drama. And that might lead me to raising the exposure just a little bit more. We're going to come down to the color and I'm going to raise the vibrance of this uh, of the colors inside. OK, so I'm really quite happy with this image. We could uh, just go into the effects panel and add um, a small vignette in there. Now, if you wanted uh, access to the additional sliders, just uh, click on the show more options icon and this will give you the options for uh, feather and uh, the midpoint roundness and highlights here. If I wanted to put an edge on this image, for instance, I could do something really um, quite extreme here. Just push all of these sliders down to the left except for the vignette and then just control that uh, midpoint slider just to make a slightly thinner border. And now I am free uh, to share to social media. I could save to my desktop uh, but in this instance I'm going to save to Facebook and just call this the frog. And uh, this will obviously go up to my timeline, although I can choose albums uh, from this uh, menu here and then I'll click share. Okay, so that completes the search, edit and share inside of Lightroom CC.